everyone, this is Sir Romel and today we're going to talk about ratio. This is expressing one value as a fraction of another given their ratio and vice versa. Ratio is a way of comparing two or more quantities having the same units. You can write the ratio of A and B in three ways. It can be in word form, colon form, and fraction form. The order in which the ratio is expressed is very important. The order of the terms in a ratio must correspond to the order of objects being compared. Okay, so para mas maintindihan natin to, let's have an example. Example. So example, compare the number of circles to triangles and vice versa. So here, we are asked to compare yung bilang ng circles sa triangle. So bilang ng circle, circles muna, di ba? So how many circles do we have here? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So we have 12, 12 circles. And compared to how many triangles? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 6 triangles. So, if we are going to ask to compare the number of circles to triangles, so our answer is there are 12 uh, circles for every 6 triangles. So, how do we read this? So, again, meron tayong 3 ways in writing a ratio. Ano yun? First, it can be in word form. Second, colon form. And then, next is in fraction form. So, unahin natin yung word. Word form. Word form. So, sa word form, gagawin lang natin yung 12. Uh, 12 circles is to 6 triangles. Okay? That is the word form for this ratio. So, colon form. Sa colon form naman, lalagyan lang natin ng colon. So, 12 is to 6. And for fraction, syempre, gawin lang natin siyang fraction. 12 over 6. Or, we can read this, babasahin din natin yan, kahit fraction yan, as 12 is to 6. Okay? So, meaning, 12 circles is to 6 triangles. Okay. Okay, so let's have another example. Let's see. Okay. Compare the number of apples to bananas. Okay? Apples to bananas. So, ano una nating bibigay na number, apple o banana? Okay, apples kasi apples yung unang hinihingi, o apples then to bananas. Okay, so how many apples are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 6 apples. And how many bananas? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, there are 4 bananas. 4. So, first, sabi dyan, kung sinihingi sa atin ay word form. So, sulat natin. 6 apples is 2 4 bananas. Okay? Colon form. So, how do we write that in colon form? Okay, very good. That is 6. Then, lagay natin colon. Then, 4. Fraction. How about fraction? Okay. So, 6 is 2. 4. Okay? So, dali lang, right? Very easy. Kaya, kaya natin. Okay, so how about kung gawin natin yung apples, gawin natin bananas, balik na natin, bananas, and then gawin natin tong apples, okay? So although red siya, gawin natin tong uh, yellow din. And then, yung apples, gawin natin yung red. 
a syringe. Okay, binaliktad lang natin. Now, compare the number of bananas to apples. So, tama pa rin ba to? 6 is to 4? 6 bananas is to 4. Tama ba yun? No. Kasi ang 6 ay nagre-refer sa apples. Yung 4 sa bananas. So, mali na to. So, try natin. Let's erase. Erase natin siya. Papalitan natin. Okay. So, compare the number of bananas to apples. So, ilang banana tayo meron? Okay, 4. So, in word form, that is 4 is 2 6. Ayan, nabaliktad na. Okay, in colon form, that is written as that is 4 bananas is 2 6 apples. Fraction form, bananas to apples. Banana muna, 4 4 bananas is 2 6 apples. Okay? Nakuha natin. Very good. Good job. Okay, so let's have more example. Let's see. Sign natin. There are 5 ball pens and 7 pencils in the box. Okay, number 1. Compare the number of pencils to ball pens in the box. Write the ratio in 3 forms. Okay, so pinasusulat sa atin yung uh, comparison ng pencils to ball pens. Let's see. So, pencils daw to ball pens. Okay. And then, write the ratio in three forms. Okay. First form, unahin natin yung word. So, ano yun? Pencils. How many pencils daw? There are 5 ball pens and 7 pencils in the box. So, pencils, 7. So, 7 is 2. And ball pens. Okay. Very good. 5 ball pens. Okay. Now, using colon. Okay. So, paano natin susulat sa colon? Okay. Very good. So, 7 and then colon. So, 7 pencils is 2, 5, ball pens. And, lastly, fraction. So, ang fraction, paano nga natin susulat? Very good. So, that is 7 is 2, 5. Okay? So, malinaw. Now, let's see kung naintindihan na natin yung lesson. Let's have this activity. So, write a ratio of the following in three ways. Write your answer in your notebook. Okay, so yung sagot natin, sulat na lang natin sa notebook. Kahit o kahit sa isang malinis na papel. Okay, so ito yung given. Circles and then the triangles. So, write in word form, colon form, and fraction form. Okay, are you ready? Okay, so siguro 10 seconds. Okay, ready? And start. Okay, so time is up. So ano kaya ang sagot? Let's see. Okay, so 5. Circle is to, is to 2, I mean, sorry. And then, colon form, 5 is to 2. And then, fraction form, 5 over 2. Okay, very good. Good job. So, next time, pag-usapan naman natin kung paano natin lowest term to at paano yung paggawa ng equivalent ratio. Okay, so, see you next time. And keep safe, everyone.